Hey, what's going on, crew? Welcome back to the ultimate $10 million farm here out on Lone Oak. Guys, things are looking so darn good right now. I mean, look at the lineup. I know, it's a lot of green. It's a lot of green. Some of you may disagree with me. But you know what? Our crops, look at this. They're all coming up looking so good right now. Can't wait to get in these fields. It's coming. Harvest season's coming around the corner. Middle of summer right now. We still got some fertilizing still to do, though. Yeah, we've even got taters. We've even got taters coming up. I know. I could regret this. But guys, the big thing we're waiting on today. Well, I'm waiting for a phone call. For, I'll get a bunch of horses here. We need a bunch of our show horses. We've got some racing horses coming. I'm waiting on the phone call right now. And we're going to spend our wad on a whole bunch of horses. I can't wait. Uh, dying to get this horse this whole horse sanctuary i'm calling it here set up so we'll see what we can get that done should be a little later on today we got some thoroughbreds some quarter horse oh yeah it's gonna be good guys anyways i think i think you guys know what time it is right well back to chorin <laughs> Like I said, I've got a few uh, odds and ends to go take care of here, and well, one of which I wanted to get rid of some of this like shrubs down in the in the back here. Like it's just a bit of a fire hazard. I want to kind of knock these all down, turn this more into grassland. So maybe the Kubota and the bush hog sounds like a, a good task for that. Let's go fire this thing on up, lift her on up. Let's go pull it on out and hook it on up to that bush hog. All right, that looks good. Like I said, I just need to knock a little bit of this stuff down to, out towards the house there. I'm a little nervous of uh, how close this is getting to the shop. I want to get this all knocked down and, and kind of, uh, well, just trimmed a little bit, shall I say. I don't want it to be right up against the house here or against the shop, just in case. You never know. We have been really warm the last few days out here, guys. Um, it's kind of ridiculous how warm it's been, to be perfectly honest. So I'm getting a little bit nervous in case, you know what, it's brush fire season coming right away here. I really want to make sure that uh, we take care of this property. I mean, it's all dense for it. Gertie's house is in there. I know, but I, I'm nervous if we were to ever have something go on down there. And we've been known to, to have some power sports here and there around the property. Yeah, you never know. So yeah, if I just quickly knock this, uh, this tall grass down a little bit, get rid of some of the shrubs down here, that will uh, that should at least alleviate a little bit of the problem. I wouldn't even mind moving these trees out, to be honest with you guys. Those are a little too close for my liking. Keeps on getting like this. Um, it's not good. So I'm going to go right down and behind here. To even get all these shrubs kind of cleared up just for uh, for safekeeping. And I know what you guys are thinking, you know, if I had running a multi-million dollar farm here, you'd think you'd have ranch hands be able to do this. You know what? I like getting my hands dirty. I have no problem with that. Getting out here in the field and just messing around with the Kubota for an hour. That's all good. We're just waiting on the phone call. I got nothing better to do right now anyways. I mean, I could be sitting in the office planning stuff up, but nah, we need to get some sunshine. This is the best time of year to be out. Look at this. That's looking that's looking pretty darn good already. I'm liking that. Oh, yeah. We're certainly getting there. That's looking a lot better. And you know what else is looking pretty darn good, guys? It's all those new subscribers lately. Cheers to you folks if you're a new subscriber. Even if you're an old subscriber, cheers to you as well. But new subscribers, cheers to you. Good to have you guys in here. Welcome into the channel. Good to have you guys. Thanks for hitting that subscription button. And folks, if you have not hit the subscription button, it has come to my attention that a somewhat large percentage of you have not hit it. So make sure you guys hit that subscription button so you don't miss a video we may put out. Or, of course, miss a live stream as well. It's always a lot of fun. Hope you can come and make it out for one. And, of course, while you're down there, uh, make sure you hit the like on the way in there as well. Uh, look at this. Look at how good this is looking down here. We're slowly getting this all taken care of. It's a lot of work down in here. I'm kind of surprised. I forgot how much grass we had kind of down this backside. It's all good. We're going to grab it all. Uh, should be getting that phone call any minute. We'll drop what we're doing as soon as the call comes in, guys. Guys, I just realized it's bad back here like if there was ever a brush fire we'd be in so much trouble i want to see what i can get back in this section back in here like there's our shop right there i'm just trying to cut through these woods a little bit here and see if i can clean this up a little bit it's pretty rough back here mind you and i'm struggling a little bit so we'll do what i can oh man i didn't realize it was this bad back here this is not good at all we'll see if we can clear this stuff up but we're not going to be here much longer we don't have much time on our hands yeah we're going to need to get back in here with a weed whacker or something i mean look at all the undergrowth under these trees that's all going to come down a little bit to clean this up a little bit i can't do that with this mower uh getting the bush hog in there is just a little too problematic unfortunately we'll get gertie in here uh yeah she's she's good with uh, the weed whacker right she can get in here just need to get her away from the taco shop out front there for a while and get her in here to do some work for me for once that's about all anyways uh just got the phone call guys we're gonna head back right now i'm just gonna grab one little pass here and I think we should be good. Look at all the space back here. There's so much room. Man, I didn't even know this was ours. Anyways, yeah, we're going to head out. We'll grab those horses right now. 
And uh, yeah, we'll make a trip back out and hopefully we can get that, that pen all set up. I can't wait to, to see what that's going to look like, guys. It's going to be a good moneymaker for us, too. I have a funny feeling. We just got to develop a good program for all these race horses and these horse show horses. Uh, that's the next thing we got to figure out. It looks like we found some mud back there. I mean, it's been pretty dry. I'm surprised we got a little bit of muck on this thing. Uh, I thought for sure we wouldn't find anything, but apparently back in those woods, there's still a little bit of mud. Anyways, we'll put the Kubota back in the shed for the time being, and uh, let's head out and go pick up these horses. So we could take the ram to go pick up the, the horses, but we only have three stalls in that trailer. There's only three stalls. That ain't enough. So we'll take the show trailer. There's a lot more room in there. There's, uh, what is it, seven stalls we've got in that? So that's uh, that's it. You know, it's got the quarters, of course, for us as well in this. I really don't need to take this. It's just a lot more space in the back here for the horses. So we'll take the, uh, the show trailer. I wouldn't typically do it for this type of a run, but, well, we need the extra space for now. I only want to do two runs with this, so... Uh, let's get rocking and rolling. Oh, yeah. F650. Uh, I know you guys weren't a fan of the Ford to begin with, but how, how about the F650? I mean, we compared the F350 with the, uh, the Ram and the Chev. Uh, is the F650 okay? Is that one okay? I mean, look at this thing. This thing's a behemoth. <laughs> what a look. That's a great looking setup. Look at that. All right, let's go. Let's go! So the auction was just the other day. Of course, you know what? I'm not going to attend to auction, so we just, uh... Hey, wait a minute. Hey, that's four rangers! We just did it online. We did the online auction, so uh, life is simple that way. I don't think... Oh, boy. Do we want to load up inside the auction house? Uh, the house is in behind there. It's down the hill a bit. I don't think... No, they're not going to bring the horses through this way. That seems like a huge pain. Uh, let's see if I could just pull up and through. Pull, pull beside it. I was going to try and pull right on inside, but that seems like a very bad idea. Let's uh, pull this around on this side. I don't need to get this thing stuck inside the uh, the building. Yeah, that would be bad news. That'll do right about there. All right, so they're on their way with the uh, the horses right now. You know what? I've always wanted to, uh, to be an auctioneer. I thought it'd be kind of cool. I've been told I kind of talk fast a little bit. I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, guys, they, le they left the hammer. I'm, I'm, it's, a, it's a gavel, I guess, technically, right? What's the difference between a gavel and a hammer, technically? Huh. Anyways, that's cool. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get out of here. I don't know where these guys are. They should be here by now. Oh, there he is, finally. You know what? We even unfolded the trailer. I, might, I went and had a nap inside because it was taking so long. Oh, look, he's got the doors open for us already. Oh, easy, 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 easy. All right. Oh, we got all the horses in here. Perfect. Let me get these uh, loaded up, guys. Nice. So he had seven horses in there. He's going to do another load for us. I don't know why. You know what? Let me talk to him. See if he can just go and drop these right off at our farm instead of having to do this rigmarole. I mean, it's only another half an hour drive for him. Why does it matter? I'll even throw, you know what? A couple hundred bucks for the drive for his trouble. That would make life a little bit simpler. He's got a nice looking F-350 Power Sport here. 7.3 liter? Oh, it's only a 6.7. Uh, but that's all right. That's all good. Anyways, I'll see if I can get him to make a trip down with us. Uh, I don't mind. The trailer looks uh, very similar to ours, actually. Yeah, it's not bad compared to uh, the other blue one we have. Uh, this is just a little bit bigger, of course. So, anyways, he can do that trip, and that'll make life a little bit easier. We can take what we got in our trailer right now. Yeah, that's good, guys. That'll, that'll make my life just a little simpler. I don't need to be on the road all day, and we'll save a bit of fuel, right? It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Oh, man, this thing drives like a dream. She just kind of putts along. Doesn't even know that trailer's behind it for the most part. Once again, past Gertie's taco stand. I don't see anybody there, Gertie. I think you could be out trolling, uh, trimming some hedge for me. That would be nice. That would be really nice if you could do that. Anyways, let's go around back and uh, we'll drop this off in here. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Let's not let's not hurt these horses coming around in here too fast. She's a little bit bumpy down there. That's ah, not too bad, though. Perfect. All right. First horses into our pen. Let's lock this up for the time being. You know what? I better get him some water here quick as well. Uh, perfect. You know what? We do have some hay bales coming as well today. We don't have anything on the farm yet. That's something I got to take care of. Now, I need to move some of these guys around before he shows up with the next seven. So we'll see if we can bump some over into the training pen for now. Maybe I'll go for a rip. Does it, can you say you want to go for a rip on a horse? I don't think you can. Uh, we'll go for a ride, maybe. Maybe that's more political correct. I, I don't know. Perfect. All our horses are in. Nice. Let's lock that down for the time being. Even grabbed a couple of hay bales through the back here uh, for me. Let me go grab the tractor. We'll put some hay bales in there. I have no hay for them yet. So I asked him to grab me a couple while he was in town. Uh, that's making my life a little bit simpler. Just switch out our bucket for that bale spear. And uh, we should. Should be good now, I think. Yeah, let's whip this around. 
and grab these bales. Cool. So we do have a shipment of oat coming in later on today. I know we need to get some proper food for these guys. We need to feed these guys premium, premium, premium oats. Uh, definitely got to make sure we get the right stuff for them. If we're going to be doing thoroughbred racing, that's for sure. Uh, make sure we have lots of lots of oats, lots of hay on hand. Uh, you know what? We're just trying to get into this as quick as possible. This is the fastest way right now. Excellent. Let's go put these over here. There you go, guys. Grab some, grab some chow. Just for you guys. Nice. All right. A little bit of hay. That should be good for now. All right, folks. I think that looks good. You know what? I'm dying to go for a little bit of a run. Let's go. Uh, just leave this right here. We'll leave the 6M right here. And uh, let's go saddle up, shall we? All right. Look at this. Now, I understand this horse's name is Nifty. Um, I think... I, I need to get to the naming rights, I think, from now on. I think that's going to be a thing. I'm going to have to be the guy that names them from now on. This is ridiculous. Nifty? Come on, man. Who can have a racehorse named Nifty? I was thinking more along the lines of maybe Pitter and Patter. I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with something original. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Maybe maybe they shouldn't trust me with the namings after all. What am I to say? Yeah, folks, it's it's tough being being the owner of the uh, the multi-million dollar farm here. I tell you, it's uh, life is pretty good out here. Life is pretty good. Uh, things are looking good on this farm, guys. We got the horses in. Like I said, this is just the start for this. I want to build some more pens for these guys. I want to really expand this. I need to get, uh, you know what? I heard there's a certain Jake that uh, is really good with horses. Training horses. He seemed like he'd be a good a, a good horse trainer. I guess he trains them with pickles or something. I don't know. Don't ask me. But anyways, we'll see if we can get him maybe to train our horses up. I hear he's really good in that in that department. But with that all that being said, I think that's going to do it for us here today, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. On our $10 million farm, if you did, you guys know what to do. Slap the like. Don't forget to subscribe. And folks, if you enjoyed this content and you want to help us grow, of course, you can always drop a comment down below. Maybe let us know where a certain trophy was today. I'm pretty sure if you made it this far, you saw it. But other than that, we'll see you next time. This is Glutch from the $10 million farm. Over and out.